Hi guys, welcome to your favorite program on aptitude for CAD, CSAT, GRE and GMAT exams. In this capsule, capsule we are trying to explain, trying to explain how, to how to use your, use your common, common sense, sense to solve, to solve, solve some, some of the difficult questions. questions. If, you if you look at the question, question, question is, is if M n into P q is equal to 1701 and N m into Q p is equal to 2592, find the value of M n plus P q if M n N M, P Q and Q M are all two digit positive integers. So it's a pretty interesting question. If you really want to do it using traditional method also, it might be a very lengthy solution that you get. So how can we answer this question? Is there any other way to answer it fast? I want all of you to think for five seconds and figure out what could be the answer. Like, like I mentioned, in, in quant, especially, especially in aptitude, aptitude exams, exams, they don't try to test your uh, subject, subject knowledge, knowledge but uh, what, what kind of aptitude you have, okay. Okay. Can, can you find, find the answers in a smart way sometimes. sometimes. So, so they just give some, give some difficult, difficult questions, questions leaving out some simple, simple clues to get the answers. answers. So, so see if, if you can find any clue over there. there. Now, now I will tell you how to answer this question in a smart way using, using whatever, 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 whatever that has been given. If, if you look at the question, question what is it saying mn into, into pq is, is equal to 1701. So, so if the result in these odd, can, can I say these both, both numbers should be odd? odd? Otherwise, Otherwise you can't get an odd resultant because odd, odd into odd only gives you even. even. In, in all, all other cases we only get even, even result. result. Like, like odd into even, even you, get you get only even. even. Similarly, Similarly even into even, even you'll, you'll get even. Even, even if you take even, even into odd, odd you, you know the resultant again even. even. So, so it is for sure, sure that both these numbers to be odd. This, this itself is sufficient for me to answer, answer the question if I look at the answers properly. If you look at the answers, there are 193, then 87, then 90, then 79. When I add two odd numbers, the resultant has to be even. Let me repeat. When I add two odd numbers, the resultant should be even. Okay. When I add mn plus pq, the resultant should be even. So simply I can say answer is 90 because remaining all numbers are odd numbers. So, so this, this is how, how using common sense, sense sometimes we can answer the questions, questions faster. faster. So, so don't panic when you look at a difficult question. I, like, like I mentioned, whenever they give some difficult questions, questions many a times they give you a clue so, so that you can answer it fast without using any mathematics or a concept. So, so you just need to figure out that clue. I explain this question not saying you find this question everywhere or you find this sort of questions everywhere. But just to tell you that you try to habituate thinking in this manner. We'll, we'll be coming up with more such interesting, interesting tips and tricks to score more in aptitude. Stay tuned.